What's happening, YouTube? Thank you for kicking with Midwest Street Talk. Make sure y'all go ahead, subscribe, and hit the like button. And for those who choose to help me help others, there's a GoFundMe link in the description. Whole, like stepmom thing, which I don't recommend to anyone. <laughs> uh, not for baby mama drama, not for like whatever. Like if it's right and you love the person and you love their kid and it really works, it works. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Like you lose so many people uh, when you get out of like uh, attachments like that. Like uh, obviously my partner only lost me, which is a fucking loss. Like I am a catch. <laughs> I'm aware, but I like I lost so many people uh, that are close to my heart, uh, which is hard. So, would not recommend it unless it's end game for real. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. No, it's okay. Uh, you live and you learn. I uh, have learned a lot from my last relationship, and I'm grateful. Uh, I definitely think that it's really important to keep people on like good terms. Uh, like even if you're like you don't need to associate with them like it's good to end things on a good note and know how to do that like, you should not be burning every bridge that you have to to end you know that's very true that's that's good advice actually for real yeah so what, do you have any um, goals like uh, as far as school or a career path man I really want to build like these very bizarre like off-grid homes and it's like this really weird I don't know like I wouldn't even call it fantasy but it sounds like it when I explain it to people like there's like these houses that have like this really old technology like from all over the world where like they use like hay in the ceilings or they use the ground um and compound mass like to cool spaces like just really wicked stuff where like you're literally using nature and, like permaculture that's something i'm really interested mm -hmm. in uh to literally like build a home that's completely like self-sustainable so like let's yes. say your area floods or there's wildfires and like there's no connection there's no power there's no water there's no anything you literally have everything and you don't need to worry about what's going on in the world because you have everything that you need to survive which is really fucking cool i think that that is the future like i think that we should be focusing more on that and the other really cool thing about them is that they're like made out of garbage thank you so they're, you said they're made out of garbage yeah they're made out of garbage um like they use tires which like tires will outlive all of us obviously it's a bunch of rubber uh and they're like referred to as like these thermal mass walls i don't know why i'm doing the abbreviations this shit is real like real <laughs> science it makes sense uh, and they like pound them with rocks and sand and they make them like these big bricks essentially and it keeps spaces like super insulated um, and how they have like the heat in your home is like they're normally in like warmer places like there's this uh, biotexture uh, academy like I think they have two or three of them there's one in New Mexico where they teach people how to build these but uh, they're normally built in like warm places like go to Tennessee I think they there's some in like Colorado so like even places where it gets kind of cold just like depends where you put it uh like Arizona they're made to have like a big greenhouse in them so like the greenhouse is where the heat is and then you just like open the doors or open certain windows so that the heat can travel in uh it's really cool they're called earth ships and uh, is the earth ship earth ships okay. yeah I gotta look into that and it, they're called that mainly because like just like a ship you have like sails and you have like an anchor and all these different things you need to maintenance to be able to get to where you're going uh earth ship is kind of the same way like instead of going up to the thermostat and pressing a button and setting your temperature like you open a little door that is like compounded under all this soil uh and it, one end of this tube um is outside and it's like pushing the cold or the hot air out and like pulling the cold air in like it doesn't make any sense it's like, dope. It's almost like, an AC. like it's, it literally is an ac yeah like a, a mix of AC. Dope. yeah you just like adjust your blinds um so like you direct the sun in and out of your home and yeah you have your whole food supply like you know how to do your own water and like sewage treatment like you're doing everything so that you can be completely off grid and I think that we live in a fucking scary ass world. Uh, and a lot of people want like real freedom, you know? And what better, what better way to do it than to like actually not have bills, to actually not have to rely on the city, and to actually have your own food supply that like you know what you're consuming. Like, 
yeah, that is that is the the end game goal. <laughs> but yeah, it's like weird. You have to harvest like a bunch of materials, so it's like harvesting garbage. <laughs> so it's like you're just like kind of a hoarder for a couple years, long time. It takes like a village to build these things. It's wow. like you gotta you gotta hammer these tires with rocks and sand, like. Uh, it's definitely like if you are about it, you're about it, and you're really going to be committed, and it's going to take a long time to do. Uh, but yeah, I think that it's very innovative, and it, it is the future, for sure. I believe in you. Thank you. Thank you. I, like, I, I just got a feeling that you, you hyper focus on what you want, and you get it done. Yeah, I mean, fuck, I try, man. I do sometimes put the pro in procrastinator. <laughs> But yeah, I definitely I am ambitious. I hope that's something that I can accomplish someday. Uh, I think that like learning the trades is where I start. Um, this like biotexture academy is like super expensive. I honestly think that I'm just gonna like be a self-taught person and hope my house doesn't like explode, you know? <laughs> Something else. <laughs> you can always like, you never, you never go, go into looking. <laughs> Obviously looking I'm gonna like, <laughs> grants, yeah, okay, that's a good idea. I mean, I don't know how, how it works. It's like really weird how it works, like how they have this land, like they have like all these acres in the middle of nowhere in New Mexico. And there's no building code rules out there like what? yeah inspectors will come through and just like document things but like they're literally in a very like explorative explorative phase right now where like they're yeah. just testing different ways of having new architecture uh very neat because like these they have these things like bottle bricks and they're like these plastic bottles that'll be stuffed with garbage or like the tires per se and like if there's any bacteria or if there's like air pockets or whatever like these things can you know explode oh, wow. <laughs> uh i've like i've done a bunch of research on on like youtube and uh, people will do like their own electrical and uh, their houses are on fire like and if you have like hay in your ceiling is insulation like that that is not good yeah yeah, going down. yeah for real <laughs> so like it's definitely it's like a risk uh, as much as it is also freedom, you know? Like, just like anything that is, like, worth doing. Okay, Questions? Do you, uh, do you believe in God? I, honestly, I don't know that I do. I kind of land in this in-between place that I think a lot of us are, are in, you know? Like, this, I, I'm not really quite connected or sure uh, to anything. Uh, I recently just started to have like faith again uh but like i don't know if it's like religious faith i just like mean like faith in things um because depression be hidden sometimes you know you just kind of like give up for a while uh or just feel like yeah odds are against you for a really long time yeah. but uh i think that like having faith is important um but yeah sometimes i'll think about like this weird, this really weird thing I'll share with you. Okay. Uh, how, like, maybe there's, like, this orb in the sky, right? And it, this orb in the sky, like, can only see, like, man-made things. Or can't see man-made things. It, like, only really sees, like, what was put here originally. And, it, like, natural materials kind of at, like, their purest form, per se. Right? So, like, right now we're, like, kind of just like sitting on a bunch of like metal and oil atoms and particles flying around and it like when you're driving you're just like sitting down like hovering over the road which is weird we got all these concrete jungles everywhere like why are humans putting concrete everywhere what's up with that <laughs> and then like grocery shopping like you're just like pushing this cart and like grabbing shit putting it in there getting dressed like what even is that like how funny would it be to be like this universal perspective that doesn't understand a single thing about social norms and is just like looking at these humans like what are they doing like what are they doing like what like are they congregating like what like what's happening like when i go to work i i do these motions and i'm like i wonder what that orb is thinking like go do something else like <laughs> so did you figure out what the orb was thinking no.
<laughs> no. No, man. I do not know the universal secret to everything. I wish. But, yeah, I think that it's just, like, a very interesting way to perceive, like, the direction we could have gone, maybe, uh, and how things are definitely, like, very man-made and uh, we definitely programmed ourselves to do a lot of the things that we're up to today unfortunately yeah oh question Mm -hmm. Uh, coming up here in Appleton would you say you had a fairly normal childhood um I suppose I So I mentioned earlier that I grew up like around a lot of kids and my mom had like a lot of boyfriends growing up. Uh, So my dad was on the picture. Uh, I think we had like nine different like people move into my home and I had like different various step siblings uh, like every other weekend because you know, their, you know, her partner had partners. Uh, It was just like a little weird um, to adjust to constantly, um, but other than that, like, I don't know, I've kind of, like, always felt like a lone wolf in a sense, like, even though I always had my mom, and I, like, I was born and raised in the same home my whole life, very fortunate to have a roof over my head, uh, like, grew up in a relatively nice area, like, I'm very fortunate, but, like, also at the same time, like, things were painted to be, like, a certain type of way, when I grew up, I'm, like, I realized, like, yo, other people did not, necessarily grow up with like certain you know the same things that i did and i have fucking like mental programming i have to get rid of like everybody i suppose but that isn't you know is isn't anybody else's problem it's only mine uh which you know is just all right so let's work this little space and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a continuation update on her i'm gonna take your information but before i let you go you have a social media you want to share uh i suppose yeah uh okay so it's called the magic life of aubrey uh i am that's on my instagram okay and yeah that's that's what i have for you <laughs> just in case anybody wants to donate to your your cause do you have a cash app or something uh i do hold up just a second i have